So in this video, I'll cover how I made my first $1,000 in bug bounty and to actually encourage you that you also can do it. But please note that this is not some kind of blueprint that after this video, you will start racking up bounties after bounties and making thousands and thousands of dollars, but more of a guide and a success story showing that I've done it and you also can do it if you meet certain criteria and that I'm going to explain in a bit. So I guess most of you guys already know what is bug bounty, so I'm not going to go into lots of detail. If you don't, then bug bounty Bounty is basically where ethical hackers test or hack websites with permission for money. A hacker finds a vulnerability then depending on how bad is the vulnerability he gets paid based on the impact. So you may ask how did I learn bug bounty or how did I learn hacking? So before my first paid bounty I spent lots of hours on practicing from try hack me to hack the box to to be honest just anything I could get my hands on and it is important that you do keep practicing. However, one thing I already saw from doing CTFs to life hacking is CTFs in 9 out of 10 cases do not look or even imitate how you would approach bug bounty or basically the skills required that you need for bug bounty. CTF levels are usually easy and designed to be completed. Real website security is not meant to be completed or exploited for obvious reasons. And I highly recommend that if you want to become a bug bounty hunter, don't focus on CTFs only. I actually stopped doing CTFs completely, I only spent time on Hack the Box Academy as that is an actual good resource for learning. Now you may ask, if CTS are not good, where should I learn bug bounty or where should I learn hacking? Well, the answer is Portswigger and Pentester Lab are two great resources. Portswigger is free, Pentester Lab is paid, but they are both great resources and you're not going to regret basically spending time on both of these websites. Now, as soon as you get some experience from these platforms, you need to start hacking. As the famous quote says, hack to learn, not learn to hack. When you first start out, you don't have a clue in what you're doing and that is understandable and that is the natural process of hacking. You just need to keep going. Now I know you will get frustrated and let me tell you something because you will probably quit if you don't hear this. Don't look for money. You as a beginner you are forbidden in looking for money. You are trying to level up and trying to learn skills and trying to get experience and the more experience you get then you can think about money. As I said as a beginner think about getting skills and experience first then you can think about money. Now another Another tip that I have for you is that everyone uses Google. Don't be ashamed to look something up on the internet. Let's say that you see a JWT token, right? Do you even know what an encoded JWT token looks like? Don't be ashamed to basically research stuff, right? And that is very, very important skill that you actually know how to use Google to your advantage. Okay, so let me actually tell you how I made my first $1,000 and it was on the same target. First thing I've done was I enumerated the target for subdomains. The first subdomain had weak credentials and I reported that and it was basically easy $500. And the second subdomain had allowed me to access a material without paying or without logging in that was behind a paywall and that basically made me another $500. So as you can see, I didn't get code execution on my first bounty. It was simple misconfigurations that the developer forgot about and that made me my first bounty. So if I done this, what's stopping you from making money? Nothing. It just requires patience, hard work. And to be honest, I don't recommend switching between targets too often. Choose one big target before you actually start doing anything. I recommend enumerating subdomains on a target to see what is available because I've had some targets that have lots of lots of subdomains but there's like nothing on them. So just enumerate the target first, look if there's anything interesting there, do some recon, look some for JavaScript files. And then if you like the target and you think you could actually find something here, then choose that target. And if you don't like it, then just choose for something else. There's millions and millions of targets out there. You just need to choose one that is good and you like it. And to be honest, that is it. That is the whole bug bounty juice. You need to be patient, persistent, and make sure that you keep hacking. Remember that consistency is very, very important here, just like development. If you don't write code, you will forget code. Now, if you want to learn ethical hacking step by step with good explanations, then this channel is obviously for you. I have plenty of content on my channel. Just check it out. And I also have a course. If you want to learn ethical hacking, where basically with some material I can post on YouTube, then go to my course. There is content, plenty actually of content for you out there to learn ethical hacking, especially if you're a beginner. Not maybe bug bounty, but ethical hacking. There is plenty of content for you. And thank you for watching and peace.